Tomorrow night, I have something very special planned for all of us. Yay! <laughs> Leo and I are having a dinner party. Boo. <laughs> Leo's ex-girlfriend is coming. Yay! <laughs> but I'm fine with it, so there's no drama. Boo. <laughs> really? His ex is coming? Yay! Solve it! <laughs> I better get going. It was great meeting you. Hey, I'll walk you out. Bye. Bye, Bye doctor. Take care. Bye. Oh. Seems nice. <laughs> you must be dying! <laughs> Aren't you dying? Your husband is going to Guatemala with that! I would die! I know that bod! She could be in a white snake video! That is some lucky flesh-eating virus that gets her. Uh, hmm. <laughs> die, 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 die! Ladies? Hmm. Okay. Karen, here's that paperwork we talked about. It prevents your house staff from making any legal claims against you for mistreatment, so as long as God's looking the other way, we should be fine. Yeah. Oh, Jack! What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me, we're talking. I hear, I hear all of Will's ties are made out of boogers. I hear he got a boredom woody during study hall. <laughs> oh, I get it. Your bitchy schoolgirl's trying to snub me. Told me there was some way I could turn my pain into grim determination and become a wildly successful lawyer while the two bitchy girls grow up to become two bitchy women. <laughs> Someone's got a big vocabulary and a little dictionary. Karen, we just learned the Heimlich maneuver in class, and I'm dying to use it. Could you choke tonight? Oh, honey, you know that I like to support your education. Let's try. Okay. No, no, I'm okay. No, not choking. No, 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 Choke someone with olives? You need fatty pieces of beef or, or marbles. Waiter. Aw, oh, look at poor Vesty trying to join in the fun. <laughs> Give me a break. I got stood up tonight. Did you, May Vest? <laughs> I hope you didn't invest too much in him. <laughs> Karen, that's genius. It's not even clever. You're just saying vest over and over again. <laughs> Come on, chompers. Pee pee poo poo. Do your duty for daddy. What are you doing? What? Well, you told us to take him for a walk. Not around my dining room. <laughs> Fine. We'll take him out. <laughs> Well, Grace, everything smells delicious. Whoops! You almost made it, Chompers. It's as big as he is. <laughs> A note. I love notes. Jack McFarland, do not, I repeat, do not, under any circumstances, enter this apartment. I'm having my floors redone, and I forbid you to walk on them. Do you understand? What's it say? It's not for us. <laughs> Now, Will just had the floors redone, so we have to respect that. I want to get arrested. Go outside in that outfit. attention to your nose. Now remember, everything you do here tonight is a reflection on me. I understand completely, Will. 
your large, shiny forehead needs some powder. <laughs> I, on the other hand, look fantastic. Hey, don't hog the forehead. I, stop it, you bat. It's weird. Well, what do you think's wrong? She just asked a fairy an engine question. <laughs> Oh, my God, we're all going to die in this car. This is a little embarrassing, but I had the weirdest dream last night. Oh, honey. Is it the one where you're wearing sweats that make you look like a large, formless piece of clay? Because <laughs> that ain't no dream. That pint of mocha almond fudge, you still have it? <laughs> the what? Hello, dark roast, my old friend. Drop that spoon, Billy Holiday. I kept you caffeine free for two hours. You're not folding now. Get away from me, you LeMay and ermine wearing monster. I'll drop it, I swear. No, you won't. You don't have the guts. You know me too well. <laughs> Out of my way. I got a monkey on my back named Juan Valdez. <laughs> Kids, on the ride up to Vermont, I'll have him in a dog carrier with a chew toy. <laughs> By the way, what's going on here? I'm sensing a mood. Well, he thinks I'm taking advantage of yeah, him. Yeah, save it, honey. We'll crack it open later when we're desperate. <laughs> what are you doing? Shh. We are trying to listen to Grace and Nathan have sex. <laughs> Which is kind of difficult with you yammering on. Out of there. Go oh, on, get out. Read it. What's the matter with you? You can't spy on people when they're mating. This isn't Animal Planet. God, people are so unethical. You're the one who's unethical, Will. Oh, I'm unethical. Thank you. At least you admit it. <laughs> I'm not admitting it. I'm being incredulous. Isn't that just another word for unethical? <laughs> Look. Spying on Grace and Nathan while they're in flagrante heterosis. <laughs> that's unethical. It's like lying or stealing. It's like wearing a brown belt with black shoes. OK, yeah, I resent that. Look, listen, there is nothing wrong with us listening to Nathan and Grace have sex. It's a victimless crime. It's like tax evasion or public indecency. <laughs> yeah, or like when a bartender doesn't notice his tip, you can slide it in front of you and leave it as your own. Oh, good example, honey. You are so quick. Lightning. <laughs> That's a terrible example. Ooh, I think somebody's just mad because somebody didn't think of it first. What am I doing? I have a better look explaining ethics to Angelina and Billy Bob. <laughs> Hey, Grace would agree with us. Let's go in and ask her. We're not going in there. Oh, why not? It's not like there's anything that interesting going on. <laughs> Get out of here. Go on, beat it. Oh, hey, hey. Anyway, my fair bosom friend here <laughs> has generously offered to foot the bill to redecorate my little pomme de terre. <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. We were hoping you would. And, uh... Since this is your area of expertise. <laughs> and we really need a good designer. <laughs> we were hoping. <laughs> God, this is kind of hard to ask. Um, do you know any? Why isn't she speaking? <laughs> She's thinking. Quick, grab a pencil. Be ready to write down whatever she says. She's not saying nothing. That's because she's hypnotized by her own dress. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't we ask Grace to do it? Is she any good? Hey, Boris, Natasha, I'm right here. <laughs> okay, fan out. We got a lot of work to do. I'll hit the fridge. I'll hit the bedroom. And I'll fashion a crude grappling hook and meet you atop the windmill. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you're so nosy. 
Karen bought a horse and we're here to get some supplies. Jack, look at this old rag I found to line the stall. That is my bedspread. Well, honey, I'm gonna wash it before I give it to the horse. <laughs> On. I don't know. I can't hear a thing. What are you doing? Shh. Rude. Get away from there. Get out. Oh. What's the matter with you people? Oh. Am I the only one around here that knows the difference between right and wrong? What the hell are you doing here? Stayed perfectly still. <laughs> Just because you're not moving doesn't mean I can't see you! <laughs> oh, honey, calm down. I only slipped once. Here you go, Karen. And since you've been here every day this week, this one is on the house. And be very, very careful. Hot plate, hot plate. Come on, Karen. I'll be lady and you be the tramp. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> kids, kids, come on, it doesn't matter. You two are having a baby, and well, we think it's wonderful. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. I do ask that after you have completed the act of making sweet, sweet love, that you get Will a one-way ticket back to Homoville before it gets too comfortable in Gina Heights. <laughs> know how to act around them. Do I like him? Do I hate him? Do I have an accent? <laughs> Just act like a normal human being. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Top of the morning to you, Leo. <laughs> and look at you, Grace. You're magically delicious. Manly, yes, but I like her, too. <laughs> Nice to not have anything in your head, isn't it? I brought something that no straight love-making experience would be complete without. Huh. Low gay porn. <laughs> Honey, come on, let's get into position. Okay. <laughs> oh, here they are! Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! I haven't had two people cheering me to have sex since I brought a Jewish doctor home for Thanksgiving. Oh, honey, I'm so excited for you. Oh. <laughs> Karen, get your boobs away from my face. I, what did I tell you? Ooh, I can't wait. This is going to be so disgusting. Hey, where's the zoom on this thing? I'm going to need to make everything look bigger. <laughs> Time for my present, and it's a big one. Now, let me see. That's funny. I could have sworn I brought it in here. Maybe it's in the hallway. What kind of present would be in the hallway, I wonder? What do you think it is? I hope it's another party, because this one's a snooze. Happy oh, Yeah, where the hell is he? Wait a minute, what do you mean he? Leo! You knew he was coming? Of course I knew. Didn't you know I knew? Yeah, I knew you knew, but I didn't want you to know I knew you knew. That I did not know. <laughs> I, 
just kept up this whole charade because I want you to have a good surprise on your birthday. And I only did it so that you would have the fun of surprising me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday. Thank you, sweetie. So where's my husband? Surprise! <laughs> He's <laughs> Come on, seriously, where is he? We're not sure. <laughs> Once we drove him out of town and dumped him in a ditch, it's anybody's guess. <laughs> what were you thinking? You threw him out of a car? Hey, calm down. <laughs> we just thought that it was so sweet that you wanted to surprise Grace and that she wanted to let you surprise her and, well, we just wanted you both to get what you wanted. Oh. Wait. <laughs>